about the author. Margaret Atwood was born on November 18, 1939 in Ottawa, Canada. She received her undergraduate degree from Victoria College at the University of Toronto and her master's degree from Radcliffe College. Margaret Atwood is the author of more than 40 books of fiction, poetry, and critical essays. Atwood has received over 55 awards, including two Governor General's awards. Some of her famous works include The Circle Game, The Handmaid's Tale, The Blind Assassin, and Oryx and Crate. She currently lives in Toronto with the writer Graham Gibson. Brief Plot Oryx and Crake is narrated by a character named Snowman, who was also known as Jimmy in the past. Snowman lives in a post-apocalyptic world populated by genetically modified humanoids, known as the Krakers. The Krakers are similar to humans, except they do not have the unwanted qualities such as hate or racism. The Krakers are made by Snowman's childhood friend Craig at a biotech company called Rejuven Essence. Rejuven Essence dealt with anti-aging medications and methods. The novel also includes flashbacks which allows readers to understand the events that led to the destruction of the world. The novel Oryx and Craig includes many themes, some of which include nature, parent-child bond, immortality, disease, and knowledge. The theme of this video is immortality, and the discussion topic will be the real cause behind the end of a society and how to achieve true immortality. There are many reasons for the end of society or for the end of an individual, most of which are natural causes. However, one of the many reasons for the end of an individual or a society is constantly fearing death or having the desire for immortality. This novel also discusses how every human has a desire for immortality. Craig once tells Jimmy, men can imagine their own deaths, they can see them coming, and the mere thought of impending death acts like an aphrodisiac. A dog or rabbit doesn't behave like that. Take birds in a lean season, they cut down on the eggs, or they won't mate at all. They put their energy into staying alive themselves until times get better. But human beings hope they can stick their souls into someone else, some new versions of themselves, and live on forever. Atwood, page 145. One of the famous ways people try to gain immortality or at least feel immortal is to look young. Many brands and companies in the world are run by the money they get from people who have the desire to be immortal, people who do not want to see themselves age or die ever. According to a research done by Zion Market Research, the global anti-aging markets are expected to reach a market size value of 216 billion American dollars in the next two years. This statistic shows the huge number of individuals who are trying to make themselves feel immortal. In the novel, humanity's quest for immortality is funding most of the compounds in the world. They get the money and then use it to create medications and surgeries to sell to the people who want to be young forever. When Jimmy asks Craig, who pays for the technology at the Rejuven Essence compound, Craig replies by saying, Grief in the face of inevitable death, the wish to stop time, the human condition. Atwood, 292. The desires of society range drastically from the scientific to solving the impossible, which does not seem so impossible anymore. There are many well-known scientists and researchers that are actually working to find ways to make humans immortal in the near future. One of the many researchers is Ray Kurzweil, who is working towards making a technology that can increase the human lifespan by a great amount, eventually making them immortal. Here is a short video of Kurzweil explaining to us his thoughts about his technology. Created using Powtoon.